Okay, so here's a ballistic pendulum, pendulum problem that I just made up for today. Um, so the way you solve a ballistic pendulum problem, you're going to be applying conservation of momentum and conservation of mechanical energy, but you have to know when to apply each one. So uh, conservation of momentum, you're going you're to apply conservation of momentum to the collision. So I'll put a little circle right there. So the bullet comes in bam, collides with this suspended block. Um, the only force present here is the force of the collision, so we can apply conservation of momentum. So I'm going to say that the bullet is object one, the block is object two, so conservation of momentum would be M1 V1 initial, uh, that's the initial momentum of the bullet, plus M2 V2 initial, what would that be? the initial momentum of the block, but is the block moving before the collision? No. no, so that just goes to zero. So let's just take this out completely. Okay, so all we start with, uh, talking in terms of momentum, all we have initially is the momentum of the bullet, and what's that gonna be equal to? It's gonna be equal to the momentum of the bullet final, which is M1 V1 final, plus the final momentum of the block, which is M2 V2 final, now, a lot of you I heard talking about this problem. Uh, these velocities here, what do we notice about these two velocities? They are the same. Why are those velocities the same? Because the bullet and the block become one, right? The bullet goes into the block and gets stuck in the block. So we can rewrite this whole equation. If those velocities are the same, we can write this as in a cleaner way, it would just be like this. M1 plus M2, they join together as one mass times V final, right? M times V, where M1 plus M2 is the total mass after collision. So this is our conservation of momentum equation for the collision. Now, we need a second equation to solve this problem. Once the collision is done, so the bullet goes into the block, We've lost a ton of energy, but once the collision is done, what type of energy do we have here after the collision? Kinetic, right? This is going to have kinetic energy, and then that kinetic energy is going to swing up and convert to potential. And by the way, what's the velocity up here for a split second? Zero. It stops for a split second, which is why it goes to pure potential. All right, so post-collision, post-collision, we're going to say kinetic energy, the kinetic energy right after the collision is going to get converted to potential. Do you follow me? And then plug in the equations. One-half mv squared equals mgh. Uh, something kind of nice happens here. The mass cancels. And then we're looking for V. We're going to solve this for the velocity immediately after the collision. So that comes out as square root 2GH. So you plug the numbers in. 2 times 9.8. And then make sure you put this height here in meters. 0 0.03 meter. And then we get a velocity of 0.76681 meter per second. Now, what is this velocity? Is that the velocity of the bullet before the collision? Uh-uh. This is the velocity immediately after the collision. Okay? And notice it is this velocity right here. So the velocity we just solved for, the 0.766 here, it's this velocity. All right? Now, we can solve for the mass of the bullet now. So let's get make some room here. So if you look at this equation, and I'm going to let you guys do this algebra. If you look at this equation right here, the only thing missing now, because we, we just figured out what this velocity was from conservation of energy, the only thing missing in this equation is m1. So you do the algebra, and you get 0 0.02 kilograms, which is the same as 20 grams. Okay, so that's, that's the answer to the first question. Now, second question. 
kinetic energy lost in the collision. If you're going to figure out how much of something you lost, whether it's energy or money or marbles or whatever, you got to know two things. What two things must you know to figure out how much of something you lost? How much did you start with and how much did you end with? Okay, so focusing on kinetic energy, before the collision, before the collision, what was the only thing with kinetic energy? The bullet. The bullet. So this would be kinetic one initial. Okay, you do one half mv squared for the bullet. Here, I'll just show the calculation. It's one half mass of the bullet. We now know is 0 0.02 kilograms. Uh, velocity of the bullet before the collision was 27 Point six. That was a given. Square that. So the kinetic energy before the collision is 7.6176 joules. Now, after the collision, what has kinetic energy? The bullet block combo. So here's, what, here's how you would calculate that. You go one half. Now make sure you add the masses. It's going to be 0.72 you got to add the mass of the bullet and the block together. And then the velocity after the collision, we calculated that to be 0 0.76681. And then that gives us kinetic final after the collision, 0 0.21168 joules. So the kinetic energy lost is the difference between those. So you subtract those two numbers and you get 7.4059 joules. Wait, that's not final, sorry. This should, this should say kinetic energy lost. Okay, and then lastly, finding that as a percentage, the percent loss of mechanical, or the percent loss of kinetic energy. Okay, look. You have 100 marbles and you lose 20. What's your percent loss there? 20%. So think about how you did that. Percent loss, what would percent loss be? It's going to be what you lost divided by what you had. Lost over the initial. How much you lost divided by what you started. So let's apply that here. Our percent loss of kinetic energy well, how much kinetic energy did we lose? We lost 7.4059 joules. How much did we start with? 7.6176. And then times that by 100, and we get 97.2%. And by the way, where did all that lost energy go? Into heat and sound, but mostly heat.